So, uh, whenever you're ready, can you explain what you put together? Okay, so... Can you start? Yeah, yes. go ahead. Okay. Um, so, our project is to move a square uh, in this 2D maze. Uh, and our project involves two pickle double board and a, a sensor and also two buttons for the control signal. Okay. And a, so this is the sender and it, it, it has a thread to send data and also a timer interrupt for the control signals for the measurements or something and uh, this is the receiver side and it has two thread one is for the VGA display one is for uh, the receive the data uh, from the sender and also a timer interrupt to um, calculate the position of the square uh, using the data it receives. Um, the data, we have four values to, to send. Uh, one is the angle in um, the horizontal direction, and one is the angle of the vertical direction. Okay. And uh, the third one is the button one pressed, the last one is the button to press, and this is the button like down downwards. Okay. And this is the button as the confirm. Yeah. And we can just use the sensor to. Mm -hmm. um, so I, yeah, we can show the game. Yes. Yeah. So we can control the sensor and. I and see. And this optical will send the message to. To the the so as you're tilting that, the IMU here, mm -hmm. the angle at which you're tilting, am I correct, is being communicated to the other Pico? Yeah. Yes. Which is moving this little icon through the maze here. Yes. So that's being moved by your tilting. Yes. yes. Uh, yeah, we can show you in this level three, uh, the red, in red the, block it means a uh, trap. Okay. So when we like drop so into drop that into trap, trap. Yeah. You, oh, okay. Yeah. So you have to avoid those. So you can uh, click the confirm and to restart. So yeah, this time maybe yeah, we can show you how to avoid this. <laughs> Just go to the green block. Yeah. It takes. Time. So are you are you using both the accelerometer and the gyro to compute angle? Uh, just the, the accelerometer. Just the accelerometer. Okay. It's quite smooth. It is quite smooth. Careful. Oh. Careful. Careful. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Very cool. Yeah. We That's can go cool. next level, level or right. maybe restart. Okay, okay. Next, next level. Next level, next we, level uh, we has add a the timer. timer. Yes, oh, okay. okay. And it's actually it's quite not possible yeah. to. It seems very <laughs> stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and very, it, the dynamics are nice. They are nice, yeah. And then we also can change the speed. Yeah, we speed. can change the speed. Like, uh, and then, okay, go, time, time. Yeah. Is, okay. and then, Wait, this is uh, more. F is it more faster than the easy mode? And if yeah. we change to the hard mode, uh, the square may more yeah, fast. Yeah. So when you change the mode, what is the responsiveness of the icon to your movements changing, or? Uh, we like we we times a parameter to the. Parameter to the to the to the to the speed yeah so is it more sensitive to your tilt yeah. Yeah. i see okay i see so it's a little bit harder to control it through like yeah, yeah. narrow areas and so yeah. forth that is really interesting and we also add the friction to uh, simulate the so so the, the, so the square can like stop yeah it kind of bounces off the Tops and yes. if, if there is no friction, yeah, uh, it will like go forever. <laughs> sure.
Yeah, we just want to make it more uh, seems more na nature. Yes, absolutely. And and also in uh, about our maze, uh, actually we uh, in first we want to uh, store the whole pixel uh, about the about this maze, and we want because we have we have the wall. We want to uh, we want to uh, test uh, uh, if yeah, if, if the square hits the wall according yeah. to the ma uh, uh, according to the uh, pixel, but but ac actually uh, yeah, the so memory is not really yeah. enough to. Uh, uh, to, to store uh, uh, all the words in pixels. Okay. Because we first used like hundred times hundred uh, to the array, but there's no enough storage. Sure. So we just uh, you know, yeah divided. break the maze into uh, blocks. So for now we have um, nine. we have nine. eight rows, eleven columns. Okay. So that means we have nine row and twelve columns of wall. Uh, of walls. Yeah, walls, yeah. yeah. So just a pretty small array. Much more compact. Yeah. Really interesting. And how did you, did you design the shape of the maze by hand? Yeah. yeah you did? So we, okay. We have three. We use three. Here three. Using mm. Okay. Vertical walls, the horizontal, so some corners. Very nice. So that encodes the maze. Is this a two-player game, too? Uh, I see. Just one. One. Oh, I see. one That's is the controller, controller and one is for display, yes. and also to uh, calculate see. the the, the position. Yeah. Just like PS Five. Okay. Nice. <laughs> and um, so this Pico W is communicating to that Pico W. Yeah. Yes. Is one an access point, or are they communicating via uh, yeah, over a shared point. network? Yeah. This one is access point, and this one. Is. Mm -hmm. the, this is the access point, and then this yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, a client. Or, okay. Wow, that's really interesting. The um, the control interface seems really nice and responsive. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very controllable. Can uh, here we display the mode we are in now? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Hard with nothing in it. <laughs> hard. Uh, hard. Uh, uh, yeah, we just. Uh, hard, hard is hard just the, the speed. speed of the... How oh. sensitive it is to... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hard to control. Yeah, it's hard to control. Yeah, can so to, it, to, to actually implement the hard versus medium versus easy, are you low-passing the, the angle output, or how are you actually sort of making it more and less responsive? Or are you just scaling the output by a bigger number? Yeah. Scaling it? Scaling okay. It. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Very, very nice. That's a very cool demo. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you all. That's very cool. Thank you. Thank you.